the sound waves go. Yeah, you know it's true. My name is Derek and I make videos about audio equipment. Yeah, car audio, amplifiers, subwoofers, all that fun stuff. If you enjoy that, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Today we're going to step back about 22 years and look at a cheater amplifier. No, we'll call it an imposter amplifier. This is the Thump THA 2000. Got this off of eBay. Here it is in the box. Thank you seller for packing it up so well. Let's take it out, take a closer look at the amplifier. You can see it may look similar to those who like old school Phoenix Gold amps. Let's take a look inside that 1997 buyer's guide and see the THA 2000s right there in the middle. $170, it's rated 225 watts by two. Yeah, right. Let's take a closer look at the amp here. You can see the Thump logo amplifier. Yes, and it looks like the Phoenix Gold M series. Looks like a pretty close copy. It does have the quality seal there, made in Korea. And yeah, here is a little trick for cleaning up old amps. Get you a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. It really polished this amplifier up, made it look brand new. So I'll let you guys gaze as I clean her up. The amp was also missing one of the screws for the speaker terminals. Luckily I have a stash of these uh, screws that have the built-in washer. So I found one that kind of matched the other ones, got it all hooked up, and here's the amp. After it was cleaned up, buffed off a little bit, got some dust removed from the fins. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. Now it was missing the fuse, so I wasn't sure if this thing really even worked, but I decided we'll go ahead and grab a fuse, put it in there, and we'll fire it up and see if it works. And if it actually does work, then we'll put it on the dyno. And it's only got a little tiny 15 amp fuse here, so we're not expecting that 225 watts by two, unfortunately. But yeah, overall, the amp looks pretty good, and it's really hard to find these amps like this that are, you know, flea market amps from back in the 90s to find them in this good a shape. And I'm going to show here a comparison of the M series Phoenix Gold. You can see how close they are. Nearly identical design. The one thing that the Thump has that the Phoenix Gold doesn't have is a subwoofer crossover, which is very interesting. But here we've got the amp on the dyno. We got it all hooked up. So we're going to turn the amp on and we're going to fire the dyno up and give it a try. Okay, so the first test we're going to do, we're going to be the 4 ohm stereo test. So we have the amp hooked up each channel to each channel on the dyno. We'll try 40 hertz first. Notice channel 1 counted up quickly and channel 2 counted up slowly. Not really sure what's going on there, but that was the 40 hertz test, around 42 watts per channel. Then we ran the 1 kilohertz test. Same thing kind of happened. Channel 1 ramped up in power, channel 2 kind of lagged behind. I soon found out that it was actually the gain control. I, I messed around with it a little bit and cleaned it up and I was able to get the wattage to equal out. You'll see that here in a minute. Uncertified, we got around 45 watts per channel at four ohms, which uncertified takes us up to clipping. Here is the one kilohertz version and it's about the same, 43 watts per channel. And lastly at four ohm stereo, we ran the dynamic burst. First up 40 hertz. See around 45 watts per channel, 46 and 44. We just average those two out. Then we'll try one kilohertz dynamic burst. A little bit more power. One kilohertz is usually an easier frequency for a full range amplifier. So right around 50 watts per channel. Hmm, very interesting. So I wasn't able to find any ratings for the bridge mono mode on this Thump THA 2000. But we just ran all the tests anyway. So first up, the certified test. We did all these at 40 hertz. It did not count up cleanly. We got 83 watts. And notice our voltage is kind of high. So this is best case scenario. Uncertified up to clipping. Yeah, 123. 123 watts at 14.56. So yeah, nowhere near that 225 by 2 rating. But we don't, didn't expect that with a 15 amp fuse. 
dynamic power at 40 hertz looks like we might get over 140 here very close to it yep 141 at 14.66 i know most of you guys are like me and want to see what makes the amplifier tick let's take off some of these screws here on both sides and we flip it over and take some screws off the bottom plate and we'll take the bottom plate off then we'll soon realize whoops this is the bottom side of the circuit board you can see though where the transistors there are attached to the heat sink and we'll see later on how hot that gets when we test it with some speakers so we wanted to flip it back over we want to actually see the true top side of the circuit board and see the componentry so we had to take off quite a few more screws here and it was difficult to open because the wiring there for the fuse connection was still attached so you couldn't really open this all the way up but I did my best show you the inside it looks like the THA 2000 and 3000 use the same circuit board a lot of through the whole components here you can see a few chips mounted on the board some audio processing probably the pulse width modulating chip there is the transformer and the caps now let's try a subwoofer test, see how it handles six and a half inch sub. All right, friends, here we have the Thump THA 2000 here on the bench. You can see we got red light, which means power. I don't know why they did red light for power and green for protection. I would think you'd flip that the other way around. But anyway, we're gonna try some bass with the six and a half inch Savard High Q. Six and a half that brother Robert Vega made me a nice box here. Uh, Savar did send me this speaker right here to do some testing. So let's test it out with that monster thump amp. See what we can get, what you say? Now you know one kind of bass is good, two kinds of bass is better, but three kinds of bass. That's what I'm talking about, bass outlaws. Here we go. Let's do some illegal bass. Slow down the bass. Bass law outlaws. Here we go. Let's thump. <laughs> Alright guys, so there you have my test of the Thump THA 2000, the imposter amp. It's trying to knock off the better Phoenix Gold. Amp actually performed pretty good on that 6.5 inch subwoofer. I was really shocked. Now I mentioned earlier about the heat sink and how hot it got. And big dummy me forgot that this was the Phoenix Gold that got so hot. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, thanks as always for watching, commenting, liking, subscribing, all that fun stuff. All the Patreon members I have, you guys help out a whole lot. Special thanks to Jay, Matthew, Marcus, Alan, William, Tim, Aaron, Jesus Tire, Soundstream Registry. I'm out of here. Before we throw you some extra footage, make sure you check us out 12V Talk, youtube.com slash 12V Talk. Also, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Spotify, and more. Me and High Five Vega do a weekly show Wednesday nights, 8 p.m. Eastern. Check us out. All right, Zuki Auto Mono Block, 40 hertz, two ohms, certified to 1% THD. Thirty-one sixty-four, thirteen point five seven, forty-one forty-eight. Good lord. Don't forget to check out my channel. I have hundreds of videos on subwoofers, amplifiers, and more. Thanks as always, you guys, for watching.